Well, thanks for joining us uh, this morning, Marcus. And you've asked for Worthing High School to support Wolfram Syndrome UK. Can you tell me why this charity means so much to you? Uh, because my sister was diagnosed with Wolfram Syndrome in 2007 and my family and friends have recently set up this charity Wolfram Syndrome UK to help sufferers get help and really to provide funds for research to help find a cure for Wolfram Syndrome. Okay, thank you. So tell us a bit more about Wolfram Syndrome. What exactly is it? Um, it's a disorder that affects brain, eyes, nervous system, bladder, and it also has diabetes. And not every sufferer is unique, so there's no baseline for Wolfram Syndrome. How many sufferers of this syndrome are there in the UK? Uh, at the moment there are only a hundred known sufferers in the UK, but we, my family, have met up with another family in Essex. So I have a daughter that's currently at university, and she's has a Wolfram Syndrome. Well, so that's good. So there's a network of support there for you and your family. Yes, and there's plenty of other families out there that we're trying to help to support them, kind of meet other sufferers, to understand that they are not isolated out there. Marcus, I know that you wanted to say a few words to the people of Worthing High School, so over to you. My sisters asked me to say thank you to you guys for raising so much money for us, and it really means a lot to her, because of how she feels really isolated with her condition. So, thank you. Well, it's really great to hear how pleased your sister is that we're helping in this way, and it's a great pleasure of ours to be helping you, Marcus, and your family. And it means so much when uh, the money we're raising is helping someone who's here in our school, or, the, or your family anyway. I know that you wanted to spend a little bit of time just telling people a little bit about your sister, so, and I believe she's coming up in September, so it'd be great to know a bit about her, back, a bit about her background as well. So, over to you. She was diagnosed in 2007 after hundreds of tests, blood, blood tests and scans and she was put in hospital three years ago following a choking attack due to her condition. A year later, same thing happened, same day, choking attack ended up in intensive care in St Thomas's Hospital in London. Spent three months there and she now has a tracheostomy in her throat which allows her to breathe, kind of helping with her life. So it's a really brutal condition, this one. It affects lives in ways you can't really imagine.